They love her when she is submissive, when she is sensual, when she is fine. But they hate her when she expresses what is on the feminine mind. So that is the horrific proof that Afua Rose has no soul. She is she has set up her platform feigning concern for women who have experienced SA and yet it is so easy for her to take on a false persona and create a whole story about being trafficked for 50 pounds and being essayed for two days. This shows that she has no empathy for women who actually have, unfortunately, had these kind of experiences. Like watching this, even though I already checked it, watching it back with you guys, it is so disturbing to me. It is disturbing. It means that this is proof that demons, as I said in the comments, demons freely walk this planet pretending to be humans. I think that I've already advised anyone who has any kind of assault story to not utilize Afua's platform. This is a slap in the face of every single woman who she has pretended to be protecting, defending, advocating for. This coming from the mother of female children. I don't know if her grandchildren are female, but she has female children. This is beyond toxic femininity as well. This is evil. And I don't understand, because Malia was saying, this shows that everyone involved, Raspect, DJ Styler, everyone is lying. And I personally don't care for that kind of expression because I am actually dealing with evidences of behavior, evidence of someone's character, okay? It's very easy to just gen generalize and to tar everyone with the same brush. The person at hand here who has shown that they have no, nothing inside of them that represents any kind of virtuous behavior is Afua Rose. This is the reason why Afua Rose, not the other people who have been mentioned, is actually being investigated for several defamation suits. And in addition to that, malicious communications and gender-based hate speech. I am literally on the floor, seriously. When I first listened to this, and I listened to it because I wanted to know if there were any language that I had to clean up. I thought I cleaned everything up, but I just, wherever they said great, I tried to cut it out. So if you hear a pause in the audio, it means they've said great, but I heard it once, so I must have missed it. But even listening to this, like, as a woman, whether I had experienced SA or not, this is terrible. And this is terrible for raising awareness about SA because this does nothing for true victims turned survivors. This does nothing for them. This literally brings down the whole cause. People already question when women come out and say, you know, this is my experience. This is the reason why there's such a low conviction rate in the UK courts, much less in other countries like Jamaica. This is playing in to the narrative that women can be so evil, so you mustn't believe them. How can someone whose whole platform is dedicated to raising awareness and calling out perpetrators of SA come up with something like this? So big up to Auntie Shelley because I think that's her name, Auntie Shelley, um, DJ Styler's auntie. She's actually the person who was talking to Afua. And big up to Claire Kennedy also, because imagine Claire Kennedy has set up a legit platform to assist people who need to take legal action against Afua. And now Claire Kennedy has to scream some next level screening, everyone who comes in, because it actually could be Afua pretending to be a victim of herself. How sick is that? How this woman is absolutely sick. And this is the reason why, you know what I thought my first thing? This is the reason why Afua, where's my stick? Oh, I don't know what I did with it. This is the reason why Afua cannot see her own grandchildren. Because this is the level of deviance, nastiness, and toxicity that her ex, Vivamun, has clearly identified is prevalent within her being. 
Melanet Melanetic says, I am in awe. This has deeply affected me. I can't lie. You know what? It's deeply affected me too. It has deeply affected me. It is barbaric. It speaks to, this is why we have a situation where genuine people who have genuinely experienced SA and trafficking, she said she was trafficked by herself for 50 pounds for two days. This is the reason why so many women are afraid to speak up because you have devils literally running this kind of spin and propaganda. This is the same person that you would go to and say, oh, I had this experience. She'd be lying and recreating real stories of women that have come onto her platform and real stories of situations that have happened all over the planet, but she's lying about her own experience. How evil, how evil. And I'm glad to share this because I know that I am creating a catalog of experiences to showcase who Afro Rose truly is. But I must say, I didn't want to share this. I didn't, I had a whole, I had two videos set up for today because when I did the last uh, review of Afro Rose with DJ Substance and Jerome, after I finished the live, someone got in contact with me and said, no, you need to play the video at the end of that video. So I created two different cuts. I was going to play one video at the end of that video. And then I was going to play the actual video that got Afua in trouble when she started to attack strategy for being a woman who is transitioning as a transgender woman into a man. That is actually what I was going to play today. I had it all prepped up. And then over the weekend, this was sent to me. Do you get what I'm saying? This is what was sent to me. And as far as I can see, this is the lowest of the low. I can't actually, I can't, I can't look back at anything that I've shared so far, whether it's in my documentaries or just coming and doing a live, I can't see anything that reflects this low level conduct. And what Afua did is that apparently she went onto her platform and she played a little bit and she goes, oh, I caught you guys out, not knowing that there was a whole recording she didn't play the story that she told. She didn't share with her audience, this is the lie that I made up about being assaulted. No, she kept that because she knows this is disturbing. And I, I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I want to make a little short video of a video. I would like to apologize to Afua Rose and her followers and to everyone who felt very sensitive about me saying that she's an elderly woman. That wasn't the right thing to say. I'm literally talking freely here. So sometimes I look back and say, okay, she's not elderly. However, I am disgusted to note that people are more offended about her being called an elderly woman than the many attacks that she's taken against people. And as far as I'm concerned, even if you're not classed as an elderly woman, if you're in your 50s, you should be an elder. We should all be working towards eldership. It's not a shame. Do you understand? We should be able to be elders for... Don't come and talk about anyone's channel here. Thank you. <laughs> we should be able, and I think that is Bionic Steve, I don't know why a man would come here to big up another man who's not here. Yeah, th that's, that's not what this is about. You care more about those things, and I realise this is what's going on. People only care when they, or the people who they are close to or who they care about, are affected. Other than that, you're happy to sit down and watch all forms of injustices take place, okay? So when I said elderly, clearly it triggered a lot of people who are in the same age bracket who don't consider themselves as elderly, which I also agree. And I said it on both platforms, that probably wasn't the right word. I should have, should have said that. However, it is interesting to me that you care more about that than the abuse of women and men that's coming from Afro. And the reason is, it's personal to you because you are that age and that's pathetic. Yes, Kool-Aid man, LOL. Yeah, this isn't a free shout out. I don't even know who Bionic Steve is, okay? Like, so essentially, this is a problem. This is a problem and I couldn't even have made this up. I, I, didn't, I didn't even want to share this video on my Facebook page. I had to share it and say, look, I'm so sorry. Trigger warning, trigger warning guys, but guess what? I believe in equal rights and justice. And this isn't right and it's not just, it's evil. This isn't about whether someone's moral, whether someone is just trying to um, 
you know, monetize. This is this is deeper than that. This is a woman who is 53 years old, a mother of three to five children, a grandmother of at least two children, maybe three now, okay, who has no problem pretending to be someone else and making allegations about her own self and with ease, because she tells that story with so much ease about being groomed by herself, yeah, about being trafficked by herself in a bid to access confidential details that Claire Kennedy has. Don't you see that, that this person needs to be sectioned? This is someone who is mentally unwell. So it's beyond whether it's evil or not, because this shows that something isn't right in the mind of Afua Rose. And this has been showcased for years now. She's not right. She's not right. And it's important when you actually see that people are not functioning with any kind of, um, beyond morality, but mental wellness, to see it as it is. Growing up in Jamaica, there were so many injustices against women. To this day, all over the Caribbean, I have spoken and worked with women from almost every single island. They had a grandmother who didn't believe when they were, you know, SA. They had a mother who said, oh, they wanted it. It is a harsh and abrasive, traumatic thing to experience and to endure. When I came to the UK, I met so many women, black, white, every single color, every single background. They had been sold out by their female relatives. So separate to the fact that a man had taken advantage of them. When they went to save people, they were often demonized by those same people. Even in my own family, I have experienced this. I have experienced that. I knew that my brother was someone who was graping women. I told my mother, she didn't want to believe me. And then years later, when I went back to Jamaica, I ran into his ex-girlfriend and she was, she was not impressed. Like she was happy to see me, but when I mentioned him, she was not impressed. And she explained to me that he arranged a group grape, a battery against her. And it was a neighbor, a male neighbor who freed her from that. And for years after she tried to take her life, and my mother, even though she knew this, never admonished my brother for his behavior. So when women come out and tell their stories, nine times out of 10, even the women that they are closest to do not actually believe them. They demonize them, they attack them, and they traumatize them even further. So someone who is occupying the space that Afua is saying she's occupying, for her to call, Claire Kennedy or whoever she thought she was calling and to actually tell this lie, this, this triggering lie, easily recounting experiences that she's never had, lying about that, that shows that she's anti-woman. And I told you already, she is male-centered. This is a male-centered woman. That's the reason why I saw a clip on Claire Kennedy's page where she was laughing about, you know, she caught them, it was her, she was being a false person, she was pretending to be Shelly McKenzie. And then she says something like, go and get a job or go and get a man to give you a good seeing to. That's because she's male-centered. She can't think of anything of value that a woman could be doing that doesn't include a man. I am not that woman. I am not that woman. I, I am not male-centered. I do not think that men are essential in my life, point blank. I create, I grow, I do lots of different things. I do not have to have a partner to feel like I'm validated. So even when I am in relationship, that is not the center of my existence. It doesn't make me better in any way. Do you understand what I'm saying? It doesn't, it doesn't show anything of value. Afua Rose comes from the same ilk of women that feel that women should be in servitude to men and that women have no true purpose unless, unless it's in relation to a man. I don't come from that ilk. I don't believe in that. And that's why it's so easy for her to create such a traumatizing story, even listening to it, even knowing that the story is a lie. It is painful to listen to because it speaks about a gross 
level of a lack of concern and a lack of true empathy for women. Do you understand? So if this is the woman who is the person who can defend women's rights in regards to the black British community, then that is a dead area. Nothing good can come off of it. And that's the reason why so many negative things have been ha happening, sorry, on the back of her. Because she's not coming with any integrity, any true care, any true concern. I don't care if DJ Styler is lying, show me the evidence. Do you understand? If Raspec is lying, I don't want any speculation. That video was not a speculation. That video was a real life recording. You can tell that it's Afua easily lying about being groomed by a woman who is actually herself. Can you be any more sick in your head? Literally, can you be any more sick? Dark Circles, bless up. Dark Circles says she's an old, hard-bred, foot dancehall chick woman. She is a dancehall chick. It's so funny how she said she doesn't like dancing because of the mix-up. And look at what she's done. That is, the, that is like center of mix-up. She's looking clout and attention. Uh, casing views. Oh, she's looking clout and attention and views. Melanetic says, do you have the clip? I don't have the clip. But if I play something else, I should be able to go and get it so you can see what she says. Elabe Summers says she is clearly a very damaged woman. And she's a damaged woman who needs to take responsibility for her healing. I've already said that. We can all find ourselves in many different scenarios. You understand what I'm saying? But it is down to us, the human, at the center of our experiences to find healing and not to purge our um, damage, our trauma upon other people, recreating more trauma and disease and illness. Melanetic says it is painful and she speaks on it so easily because she's a damn liar. That's why she finds it so easy. It just roll off her tongue because she's a liar. She's used to lying. Let's not forget, this is her MO. She, she, she often pretends to be someone else in the same way how she did with her child's father. She was speaking to him for months on WhatsApp and she was pretending to be another woman just so she could orchestrate a meeting where she was gonna scream at him, you know, attack him and film it and put it online. So we, are, we know now that this isn't, that, that wasn't a one-off. This is something that Afua does with ease which is pretending to be somebody else, like a demon. Hi, Caitlin. Caitlin says, I'm new here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm Jamaican British. She asked if I'm British, because I sound Jamaican. I'm Jamaican British. When I speak Jamaican, I tend to have a, a speak heavy patois. So I'm mindful, uh, since I started going live on Facebook years ago, people from the States would contact me and say, well, what, what were you saying? <laughs> they never understand. So I'm mindful when I'm communicating online to try and be as clear as possible. Mind Over Matter Project says that clip Melanetic is on her own page oh, and has children hiding in the back of the car. So the clip is on her own page. It's also on Claire Kennedy's page. While stating a certain individual needs a good seeing to use a dirty gal. Why is it every time you're in, you're at odds with someone, you start talking about what they need to do with their vagina and which man needs to enter it. You are disgusting, Afua. This is a pattern of yours. So you are only validated by the D, clearly, because anytime you're telling someone to get a life, it also includes they need to get some D, your dick worshiper. She's a dick worshiper. Do you know what I'm saying? You phallus worshiping fiend. Dark circles. If she, hold on. If she cared, she wouldn't have so much street man, local drug dealer to protect you. That's the reason why she's got man like Killer P. So much road man, men who have even not only done time for assaulting women, but have been accused about SAing other women. She literally has her mob, even including LB, is filled with criminals, is, is filled with fiends or former recovered fiends, is filled with people who literally live in the underworld. So that means she's also a part 
of the underworld. Melina Tick says, I don't believe anything that woman says and would be shocked if anyone does after this. Well, I don't know because her cult, her pretty little goats of Baphomet, <laughs> them not seem to have no kind of critical thinking. Them not seem to have no sense. So I don't actually expect any of Afua's diehard followers to actually see this video and care because they have been desensitized to injustice. They, they're de you're dealing with a cult leader. She must be the next person closest to their God, right? So they often observe her carrying out all forms of iniquity, but they don't have the mindfulness. They don't have the perspective of wholeness to even realize that what she's doing is wrong. This is more so for the people who don't understand who this character is and to create clear evidence to showcase who this monster who is unfortunately occupying the body of a female. Because well, this isn't good news for women. Just so you know, after we're doing this, is not good news for women. It's not a good look.